Yes, I know. You can be a Pokemon game with Team Fool Pseudo Legendaries. It's supposed to be an April Fool's joke. The real challenge is to see if my lazy ass can get this video out on time. <laughs> this is just gonna be short. Pseudo Legendaries are Pokemon with extremely high stat values that can rival legendary Pokemon. You got that? Let's get this challenge started. Now, who's gonna be my starter? Well, it should be obvious. It's Gibble. I did Patrizia run last time, and now I have its partner in crime. Well, I will in the end of this. And now we're at our first rival fight, and I have Dragon Rage. Come to think of it, I think dropping a third bomb would have been more merciful than this. Now I'm battling the first gym leader, Faulkner. It's just like my rival. Dragon Rage one-shot both his Pokemon. I'm starting to see why you don't get Dragon types so early on. Your gym badge is not enough for reward for me for that decimation I apply to you. I have an idea. Back here is Faulkner's prized possession. And what is that, you may ask? A big gun. I'll treat him beautifully, Falky boy. Why did I say that? And now our fight is like a gym leader, Bugsy. In this fight, I'd use two Dragon Raids to take out each of his Pokemon. You see? The gym leaders are getting tougher. This is not going to be as easy as you think. Don't worry, guys. We're going to a point where Dragon Rage gets completely useless. Unfortunately, not now. Because as you're about to see, Silver's going to get destroyed. This isn't post-commentary. I'm just talking on my ass. I hope he doesn't beat me now. And I was right. Silver was a complete sweep. Zubat and Gasly got taken out by one Dragon Rage. Croconaut took two, but went for a scary face twice for some reason. Yeah, I can see why your daddy abandoned you. And by totally legitimate operations, I can buy a Dratini off this man. Ah, Hardcore Soul Silver, you're the last game we can buy Pokemon. Goddamn ESR BR ratings, where the fuck they ruined a perfectly legitimate business. Time to fight Whitney. To no one's surprise, she's been the toughest gym leader so far. Clefairy, two Dragon Rages from Syria went down. Oh yeah, I called Dratini Siri. Then I mix sets more later. Next up's Miltic. It attracts Siri, then stomps. I flinch, then stomps. I'm mobilized by love. She goes for rollout and misses. I'm mobilized by love again, then rollout takes me out. That was pathetic, Siri. I send out Cynthia, then two couple Dragon Rages take it out. Whitney, why are you crying? You stomped my noodle to death, you bitch. I need some cheering up to do. I know what will cheer me up. A perfectly legit shiny Beldum. And I just realized I got two new team members after Hunter J here, and I haven't used her yet. How sad. You'll get your moment to shine. Maybe. And to cheer me up even more, Stark's already evolving. And my Stark became a Met Tank. Isn't it beautiful? Then to fight Silver again. And guess what? Jay finally makes her debut this video. And by merely one shot and gasping with Bite. Next up is Croconaw. I saw the Met Tanks. That thing has Ice Fang. And Stark gets frozen by Ice Fang. My luck. But then I unthaw immediately. That's been happening a lot to me recently. We rush and Boba with Confusion and Water Gun. I take it out with the Confusion. Zubat comes out to me with Super Sonic. I take it out with one Confusion. Last up's Magnemite. And I actually got fucked over by its ability Magnet Pull. I can't switch out. I hit myself with Confusion. It takes me out the Sonic Boom. A Magnemite took out my Met Tank. I send out Siri Fisher with a Dragon Rage. Cynthia is evolving. I totally wasn't cut off guard by this mid-evolution. Look, we have a Gibbite now. Uh, I am a professional, y'all. Time to fight the fourth gym leader, Morty. First up is his Ghastly. Stark's Confusion one-shots. Next up is his Ace, his Gengar. He puts me to sleep with Hypnosis. Then hits me with a Sucker Punch for some reason. I don't know either. I woke up here with a Metal Claw, then a Confusion. Then he puts me back to sleep with Hypnosis. He puts me with a Sucker Punch and takes me out with a Shadow Ball. I then sent out Cynthia, I take a shot ball, go for Dragon Rage, and Stark did just enough to get out with Dragon Rage. Next up is his next Haunter, I hit it with Dragon Rage, don't kill it, it puts me to sleep with Hypnosis, he heals, takes me out with the Shadow Ball. I send out Jay, take it out with the Bite. Last up is his last Haunter, he goes for Curse and Bite finishes it off. I'll be honest, I'm surprised I won that fight, like, I had no business winning, cause sure, I have a team full of pseudo legendaries, but they're not fully evolved yet, and he has a Gengar right now with Shadow Ball. Like, I got so lucky. This was like my fifth attempt at him. If I failed this one, I was going to go battle the Alvine Lighthouse first before him. But you know what? I won and got the badge. Get better, Morty. Even though technically we were one in five. Time to catch our final team member, Larvitar. It can be found in the Safari Zone. See? Hardcore fixed some of Jodo's issues. And it fled. You son of a- One hour later. That time card wasn't a joke, by the way. It literally took me one hour and me to reset the Safari Zone for me to get this Larvitar. But whatever. I caught it. I don't need you Kong, because I'm very funny. And now prepare for a ton of evolutions back to back to back, because most of my team evolves at level 30 for some reason. And first up is a Pokemon I just caught, Kong. Would you look at that? It got a whole lot uglier. And quite literally, one battle later, Siri's now evolving. And now it became a giant noodle. A very fitting evolution. And now for the final evolution, it's Jay's turn. And there we go. Two-fifths of my team are now in cocoons. 
What have I become in my life? Time to face Chuck, the fifth gym leader. First up's Primate. Two dicks from Cynthia take it out. Next up is his Polygraph. I go over Sandstorm set up my Sand Veil, but that was a mistake because he hit me with a Focus Punch and one shot to my Cynthia. Okay, I taught Serum Thunderbolt for this reason. I hit with a Thunderbolt, do about half, then the next Thunderbolt gets a crit and takes it out. I feel like I got lucky there. You know, I don't know if you know the fact they only gave Chuck two Pokemon. Like, I get Polygraph's tough for this part of the game, but it's like, Jesus Christ. Like, come on, at least give him like a Machoke or something. Oh well. Thanks for the badge. Now on the Team Rocket. I'm not ready for Jasmine and Price scares me. No, dumbass. It's a fight Team Rocket before you're fighting Price. I played this game over a hundred times and I got that wrong. Like always, the Team Rocket executives are a complete sweep. Since their battles mean nothing, let me tell you why I'm so scared of Price. First thing is pretty obvious. My entire team, besides Stark, sweep the ice type moves. Hell, it's something being a four times weakness. Not to mention that he has a Steel and a Dugong, both being water types, which provide a resistance to my Steel type moves. And also, water support is against Kong. Yeah, that guy's getting mega destroyed in that fight. And finally, his ace, Pillow Spine, is Park Brown and has Mud Bomb. That defeats Stark. My entire team gets eviscerated by his. For once, Price actually scares me, and I have no idea how I'm going to fight him and win. For once, I'm fighting Jasmine for Price, because she's going to be way easier. And yeah, I got the Flamethrower TM because I'm addicted to Voltor Flip. And Series Flamethrower one shot the Magnemites and two shot her Steelix. Okay, I'll go battle Price now. Rip off the band aid fast, you know? Here we are, the dreaded price fight. First up is a seal. I'll lead off a seal. I go for Thunderbolt. He sets up hail. The hail knocks him to red. He heals the seal. I go for Thunderbolt. I paralyze it. Then he swaps out. I go for Thunderbolt again to Pillow Swine. I think he uses Flamethrower. Do a lot of damage. He eats a spear. He's with a Blizzard. I still have at two HP, but then the hail takes me out. Ain't that about a bitch? I send out Stark. He's with a Mud Bomb hit with a Metal Claw. Then I take it out with a Bullet Punch. Next up is Dugong. We rush him both a bit with Metal Claw or War Beam. Metal Claw or War Beam. Then he rests. I get a critical Metal Claw. Another Metal Claw takes him out. That was looking. Last up is Seal. He starts heal stalling me with rest on his seal. So I swap out Cynthia to get out a couple Dragon Claws. That was not that bad, actually. That was extremely anticlimactic. Even with four out of my five Pokemon being extremely weak to him and Pillow Swine being able to counter all of them, he still falls pretty easily. I guess he is an old man. All right, let's go shut down Team Rocket. Before we defeat Team Rocket, we need to stomp out the Prince of Team Rocket, Silver. Does that work? Or would he be like a mafioso? I don't know. First up is Golbat. Rock Slide from Kong one shot. Next up is Sneasel. He's with a fan attack. I'm at red hell. Rock Slide one shot. So out comes for Alligator. I send out Seer. You take a thrash. A couple Thunderbolts. Take it out. Since out a Haunter. Shot ball finishes me off. I then send out Cynthia. Dragon Claw finishes it off. Finds up Magnemite. And a dig eviscerated that thing. Okay. Now I can defeat Team Rocket. Then I finish Team Rocket once for all. First up is her Arbok. I lead off with Stark. Hit with the Psychic. It barely survives. I'm surprised they didn't one shot it. Honestly, Stark's special attack is shit. No, Psychic takes it out. Next up is Merc. hit with a Metal Claw, then a Bullet Punch to take it out. Last up is their Bible. hit with Psychic, puts me to sleep. I'm gonna see where three turns I wake up, Psychic takes it out. Now on to the little leader. Or should I say their fall leader? Because Archer is an executive. Dig one shots his Houndoom with Cynthia. Coughing, two Dragon Claws doing it. And last up is Houndoom. Dig also one shots it. And there you go, Team Rocket defeated once again. On to Claire. Here we are, Claire. First up is her Gyarados. I lead off with Seer, hit with the Thunderbolt, and it better to take it out. Hits you with Dragon Pulse, she heals. Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, Thunderbolt finishes it off. Next up is a Dragonair. I Thunder Wave it. Swap with the Cynthia. Dragon Claw one shots. Oh, Dragonair. Dragon Claw one shots. And out comes Kingdra. Hit with the Dragon Claw. Hits you with Hydro Pump. I'm at 2 HP and the Dragon Claw finishes it off. You know, when I did this challenge, I did not expect Morty to be the toughest gym out of all of them. But you know what? I got the final badge. Now, on to the rival and Victory Road. And then, the Elite Four. Here we are. The final fight with Silver. First up is Sneeze. Lead off with Cynthia because I'm crazy. Earthquake one shots. And next up is Feralga. I go for Earthquake. I do good damage. He ice fangs me. And then I get frozen. Swap with the Sirius for a slash for some reason. I hit him with a Thunderbolt slash. Thunderbolt takes it out. Golbat. Thunderbolt one shots it. Next up is Magnum. I go for Flamethrower. Barry don't take it out. Thunder Wave. Then I'm paralyzed the next turn. Magnapon gets a crit and finishes it off Siri. Okay then. I send out Kong. Finishes it off Magneton with a crunch. Next up is Haunter. He's confused right. Crunch one shots. The last up is Cadaver. So to reflect, I hit myself. Because for side me, I hit myself, then crunches to crit and takes it out. But before we take on the Elite Four, we got a couple reasonable level evolutions to handle. First up is Cynthia. And just like that, I probably have one of the most dangerous pseudo-legendaries competitives ever seen. Next up is Stark. I can get my beautiful shiny Metagross. Uh, would you look at that? It's beautiful. I remember using this one in Oras with the event. It was so awesome. That makes no sense grammatically, does it? One last evolution. I forgot Jay evolved at level 50. Uh, this is awkward. And there we go. A Salamence. I'm ready to destroy this Elite Four. First up Elite Four is William, the second type trainer. And I have a guard chomp with a muscle band and crunch. I one-shot everything besides the Slowbo. Funny enough, he used Curse and Heal, then my next crunch to get out. 
I don't know how that map worked out, but whatever. On to the next member. Next up is the ninja, Koga. First up is Aridos, Kongs, Rockslide, One Shots, and next up is Fortress. I spam Earthquake and Rockslide. I eventually take it out three heal stalls. He has two protects in a row. You lucky bastard. When it all comes out, talks to me, hit with a rock slide. Next up's Muck. Earthquake one shots, and then Shedskin activates. I forgot Kong got that ability. Last up's Chroma. Goes for wing attack and a critical rock slide one shot set. On to the next member. Next up, Lily Four is Bruno, the muscle head. He's a sweep as well. Hit him on top, then hit but one shot at a quick attack. Don't know why I went for that, but whatever. Onyx, Dragon Pulse, one shot, set him on Chan, send headbutt one shot, set Ma Chan, send headbutt against the red, eats his bear, he's with Rock Slide, then knows that headbutt takes it out. Last up, set him on Lean, set headbutt one shot, set onto the final member. And here we are, the final week for member Karen. First up, Sir Umbria, level start, go for Hammer Up, set Red Hell, she goes for Fan Attack, I go for Bull Punch, she heals, I go for Hammer Up, but she swaps the Hound Doom, and I one shot it. And then she says out Gengar, goes for Focus Blast, I miss, Psychic one shot, set Battle Plume, I get a Crit Psychic and one shot it. Murkrow, a Crit Metal Claw one shot, and then finally Umbreon again, a Hammer Arm fishes it off. You see, I got stupidly lucky. Now on to the champion. Here we are, the champion, Lance. First up is Gyarados. I send out Sierra. I go for Thunderbolt. I barely don't take it out. Hits me with Ice Fang. He heals up. Two more Thunderbolts. Take it out. He sends out a Dragonite. I swap out the start. Kind of has Cannon Father. He paralyzes me with Thunder Wave. I go for Metal Claw. But then see me go for Metal Claw. Swaps out the Charizard. Charizard takes out Stark. I send out Kong. He goes for Dragon Claw. I take out one Rock Slide. A different Dragonite comes out. Finishes Kong with a Blizzard. I send out Siri because I gave Siri the Choice Scarf that. My mom bought me. I outsped it and hit it with a critical ice beam and took it out. I think the crit actually mattered there. Next up is the Dragonite I weakened earlier. Ice beam fishes it off. Next is a little 50 Dragonite. I hit it with an ice beam and went down to a Dragon Rush. I sent out Cynthia Fisher with a Dragon Claw. Last up is this Aerodactyl. And he heal stalled me. Dragon Claw could barely one shot. He, he heal stalled. He kept healing. He used all of his full stores on it. And I eventually got out with the crit Dragon Claw. And now we're the champion. I gotta say, that was a surprisingly challenging champion fight. Like, I did not expect that. But I'm happy though, like I always love challenging champion fights. Runs that over yet though, I still have to defeat blue and red. But first, I get a couple more evolutions. Let's get to that. Kong is finally evolving. I have a confession to make. I was gonna name you in reference to what I named Dragonair, Siri, but I completely forgot. So I'll tell you now, I was gonna name him Lanius. There. Yeah, you should definitely know what that is now if you have any taste in video games. And here we go, the final evolution of the run, Siri. She's gonna take his final form. Would you look at that? It became a whole lot uglier, but a lot stronger. So, you know, trade-offs or trade-offs. Time to fight Blue. First up is Executor. I'll lead off with Stark. Go for Meteor Mash. He goes for Trick Room. Then another Meteor Mash. Kicked him out after he misses Hypnosis. Next up is Arcanine. I swap with a Kong. He goes for Flavis. I said, I'm just tripping to my advantage. Go for Stone Edge, and I miss. But that next one hit, and I one-shot it. Next up is Rhydon. I sacked off Kong. Gets Rhydon, so I can send him to Stark. Take it out with the Meteor Mash. Next up is Machamp. I go for Psychic. It almost kills him. He goes for Earthquake. Then he starts healing, which is whatever. I have leftovers, so he's heal stone, but I'm gaining health. But just take out Machamp with a Psychic. Gyarados, I'll swap out the Seer. Take out one Thunder Punch. And last up is Pidgeot. Two Thunder Punches from Seer. Took it out. And that was blue. Now on to red. Here we are. The final fight. Red. First up is Pikachu. I lead off with Kong. He threw the Iron Tail. Stone Edge one shot. Six Blast always. It misses Focus Blast. I get a crit Stone Edge and one shot it. Next up is Lapras. Stone Edge one shot it. Venusaur. Another crit Stone Edge. Snorlax is out, takes the Stone Edge, goes for Blizzard, he heals, I go for Stone Edge, I take it out that time. Lots of Charizard, hits me with Flare Blitz, I'm at 69 HP, and Stone Edge one-shots it. I did not expect that, honestly. Well, I honestly didn't expect Red to be that easy. I also have the Choice Man on T-Tar, so those crits didn't really matter, probably, but... Jesus Christ, I did not expect to sweep Red like that. Oh well, thanks for watching you made this far. Like, subscribe, comment, feature all our bullshit, and I'll see y'all later. Peace, bitches!